And so there you go, going from hand-drawn, beautiful art, if I do say so myself, to working website. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another AI video. In this one, I want to talk to you about the GPT-4 live stream today. And in particular, one part that really stuck out to me, and that was the part that you saw at the beginning there, which if I understand this correctly, and I probably don't, so please correct me in the comments, but it appears that you can turn a picture into a working website using GPT-4. Now, I'm not sure if that's what I saw or if I saw something totally different or if there are a bunch of intermediary steps that I maybe didn't see, but from what I can tell, it looks like I need to add drawing as another skill set. <laughs> I need to become a good drawer. I draw like a four-year-old. So again, I don't know what the heck I just saw there, but please uh, guide me in a direction. I'm going to put the whole video of the of this part in there. It's like a, a minute and a half long or something like that that'll come at the end of this. But I mean, for me, m my feedback is it looks a little bit gimmicky. And I don't see this as an actual use case, but I could see a case where maybe, you know, someone created a landing page for a startup or a new business and you drew it out and then take a picture and then put in the GPT-4 and off you go. I don't know. But please leave your thoughts on this. Let me know what you what you think about this. Is this, did I see what I think I just saw here or 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 what? I, I, I read the Twitter posts and I read all sorts of comments on Twitter and stuff. And everybody's all over the map on this from this is the most amazing thing they've ever seen to this is utter garbage. We've been able to do this for four years, etc. Anyways, watch the video. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. So I'm going to show you one more example of what you can do with this model. So I have here a nice hand-drawn mock-up of a joke website. Uh, definitely worthy of being put up on my refrigerator. So I'm just going to take out my phone. Literally take a photo of this mock-up and then I'm going to send it to our Discord. And here we go. Technology is now solved. And now we wait. So the thing that's amazing in my mind is that what's going on here is we're talking to a neural network. And this neural network was trained to predict what comes next, right? It played this, uh, this game of sort of being shown a partial document and then predicted what comes next across an unimaginably large amount of content. And from there, it learns all of these skills that you can apply in all of these very flexible ways. And so we can actually take now this output. So literally, we just said to output the HTML from that picture. And here we go actual working JavaScript, filled in the jokes. For comparison, this was the original of our mock-up. So there you go, going from hand-drawn, beautiful art, if I do say so myself, to working website.